Hi guys, welcome to day 9 of this 10 day guitar starter course with me Andy Crowley. Now many beginners can really struggle changing between the basic open chords even for quite a few weeks and maybe months. So in this lesson we're going to specifically look at the change between G and C major and also look at the song Hey Ya by Outkast using the most common strumming pattern ever. It's a really great song, I'm sure many of you will enjoy it and let's have a close up and how to play the C major chord in a standard way and change between all these easy open chords. So the first chord in this song is a standard G major which we're just going to play with your first three fingers. One, two and three. If it's more comfortable to use the four finger way of playing a G, that one's totally fine. It's neither an advantage or a disadvantage to use either one because the next chord in the sequence is going to be a full proper C chord played with our first finger at the first fret of the second string, middle finger at the second fret of string four, third finger, third fret of the fifth string and we strum from string 5. And with the G chord, we want to strum all six strings and make sure they're all ringing out by picking each one one at a time. So when we change to this C chord, it's really paramount that we're starting to acquire the shape of a chord that we're learning in, kind of in our fingers, memorizing the position and muscle memory that we need for these chords rather than just remembering exactly where to place our fingers from a fret numbers point of view. So when I play this C chord specifically, my hand is in this shape, it makes this shape and I've, because I've played guitar for many years, I can now make this C chord shape even when my fingers are not pressing down. Now when I do that, it's far easier if they are touching and they're only going to be touching if when I play this C chord they're on an angle pointing towards my right shoulder and that really helps make the stretch more doable. If you're stretching and your fingers are vertical, it's going to be quite a nasty stretch. Whereas like this and with our thumb just creeping over the top, it's far more comfortable and when that shape is acquired, when it's memorized in your hand so you could play it just like this, um, you know, make the shapes of the G and the C chord, that is far easier to change between because the trick is we want to change from the G, make the shape of the C chord and then place it down. Now this can take a number of days or weeks to be fully acquired, however if this is what you're practicing there will be a breakthrough for you, I promise, with these chord changes and you may not have had that breakthrough for a little time now by the time you get to the level of this song so it can be really good to start to get this and really name, nail the change between the G and C chord. The other chords in this song are then a D major chord and an E major chord in Hey Ya by Outkast. So we have Hey Ya, Hey Ya, Hey Ya, Hey Ya. So we'll have a quick playthrough of Hey Ya now and I'll talk you through the strumming and everything like that. But after we've done that, we'll come back and reassess the best way to change between all these chords because it's these chords which happen in so many songs, uh, a sort of beginner level, but with a good amount of strumming and things like that. So this is really what you're wanting to acquire, the change between a G, C and a D without having to over rely on the Oasis style method that I mentioned earlier in this 10 day start course. My pick has got in my guitar. <laughs> So to play Hey Ya by Outkast, we're on the G chord for a single bar. One, two, three, four. We're on the full C chord for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D chord, just for two beats, so really quick. One, two, and then we change, and we can keep our first finger down to change, between D to an E major chord and the E is for two bars. So just two beats on this uh, D, which is a little strange. We're just gonna play that one with two strums. 
And for the rest, we can just do a strum on every beat. So this would be G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, D, E, two, three, four. Once more again. Hey, yeah, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The thing that we really want to nail is those changes. So let's just di dissect these changes a little bit more. Um, let's have a look at the G chord and how we lift off and then make the shape of the C chord before we press it down get to about five millimeters or a centimeter and then press the C chord down. Lift off of the C chord and then make the shape of a D. So we lift off, make the shape of the D first and then press down. And then again, we've got an anchor finger on the E so it's a little bit easier. We can just put the other two down and that anchor finger does make things a lot easier but we can also rise above the strings on an E chord and still practice making that shape and then depress the strings down and we're playing each chord. Let's do that one more time. This is absolutely the best exercise to improve any chord change that you're going to be learning for the foreseeable future really. This is the exercise to do. So we start off with the G chord, we lift off but keep the shape of the G chord as you lift off. Let's do that one more time, we're on the G and then we rise by about a centimetre but we've still got the shape so you can see that I'm not pressing down but the shape is memorised in my fingers. We change to a C chord shape but don't press it down and then we press and strum. Lift off, rise but don't lose that shape. If you need to do it one more time, press down again on the C chord and then rise up by just a centimetre, just that much. Change to a D chord shape. If you can't find it, press the D chord down and then just rise above by that centimetre and see if your fingers can keep that shape there. Press it down and strum. And then change to an E major chord finally. Let's rise above, keeping the shape, but we rise and then go back down and strum the E chord. Let's play along together now to the full chord sequence just on the beat in two, three, four. G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, D, E, two, three, four. Once more again. Hey, yeah, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. And it very much follows the words with that. Hey, hey ah, of the chorus. Hey, ah. Okay, so it changes on the words, hey, ya, ah, each time in the chorus. But we want to add the most common strumming pattern ever. It's uh, a bit more higher level, this one, certainly, than, than a total beginner. But we have down, down, up, up, down for each bar. Down, down, up, up, down. Demo with the song. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 down. So one, down, down, up, up, down on the G. Twice on a C. Two down strums on the D. And then down, down, up, down, twice on the E chord. Last demo, then we'll have a go together. Hey, yeah. D, D, E. So really slow now together. Let's give it a go with this high level strumming pattern from the G chord in two, Three, four, down, down, up, up, C. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 D. D, D, E. Down, up, up, down, down, up. 
and again. G, down, up, C. Again. Down, down, D. D, D, E major. Last time at this kind of speed. A little bit slower now so absolutely everyone can do it and I'll pause a little bit more for the changes. Two, three, four. C. C again. D on two downs. Down, down. E. Down, up, up, down. G. So we go again from the G chord in two, three, four. D. E. Last time. Two, three, four. And as I say, that loops for the entire song. So hopefully that exercise will really help you with any chord changes that happen in any songs. And hey yeah, great song by Outkast there. That is the end of day nine of this little guitar starter course. Join me for day 10, where we'll be looking at a blues song and some blues ideas just to finish up this 10 day course. If there's anything you're struggling with, you wanna check back to the previous days because each day does get incrementally slightly harder and I also have a full beginners course on my website which you will find by subscribing down below so click that subscribe button and check out andyguitar.co.uk for my full beginners course and all my lessons hundreds of song lessons now all the way up to improver and intermediate level and I will see you again in one of my lessons take care of yourselves guys thank you for watching bye for now